What is up guys, today I'm gonna make a video showing you how to remove the CDU threaded drive shaft. That is the shaft that comes with the threads here and with the nut, instead of having the C-clip to remove the carbon seal. So what CDUs have the threaded shaft? Well, the CDUs Fortex, or the four-stroke CDUs, between 2009 and 2010 if I am not wrong about the years. So in 2009, CDU started using the threaded shaft thinking it would be easier to remove the shaft unthreading a nut rather than using a lever to remove the C-clip. But by the end of 2010, they didn't notice it wasn't so, so they changed back to the C-clip shaft. Having only two years of the threaded shaft, which is a pain to remove, so, for us to remove the threaded shaft, according to the CDU service manual, first of all, we have to remove the spark plugs. And for us to remove the spark plugs, we can either just pull the coil out, or you can unplug the coil and pull it out, which is a little easier. Then all you have to do is pull the coil out, it's going to get a little bit stuck with the spark plug, but all you have to do is pull it out. With the coils out, you're going to need a 16 mm spark plug socket to remove the spark plugs. With the 16 mm socket, all you have to do is loosen it. Having all three spark plugs out, like the work manual says, you will come around the back where the jet pump is, with the jet pump already out. You will need a special tool that's going to fit perfectly on the drive shaft with the splines of the drive shaft. So as I was saying, you're going to need a special tool. This is my tool. This is the one I made. Uh, CDU has the ones that they make and sell, but this was homemade by me. I just got a nut and I machined the splines of the drive shaft. As you can see, it fits perfectly here within the drive shaft. Having your tool fitted within the drive shaft, you're going to have to go inside and lock the drive shaft in place to make sure it won't spin. So in other words, you're going to use a 36 millimeter wrench to lock the nut in place and with the help of someone while somebody holds the nut in place, you will go around back and loosen the shaft. But it's a very important detail that this is inverted thread, so you're going to have to actually torque it clockwise instead of counterclockwise to be able to loosen the shaft. The threaded shafts, they have a big problem, which is stripping away the splines of the back end of the shaft, so the end that goes into the jet pump. Since you already have your shaft out, an advice that I would give is for you to go and remachine the uh, end of it, so you weld it and remachine the splines, just to be sure you're not going to be stranded out in the middle of the ocean with it. I redid mine and it was definitely worth it. 